So here we have the interface of the Maxwell, which is an ANSYS uh, software. And eventually we will need to make this model and run it. As you can see, there are uh, different branches here, excitation, parameter, mesh analysis, and the result plus the field overlays. So in order to make that, you need to make a new project and then make what type of project you want. You can choose any of these projects, but today we'll use the Maxwell 3D. You can also Maxwell 2D if you want. So as you can see, there is nothing next, no plus next to these uh, items, whereas on this one you have different uh, branches and details. The reason is that this is a completed model and the one that I just opened is at the very beginning. So we can make a geometry ourselves or you can also make it in another software and then import it here. So in, if you want to import, you need to go to model layer, choose your file and bring it here. As you can see, we have a geometry here. The per, big purple uh, <coughs> area is the region area that you need for all the simulation. Let me hide it for now so we can see more details of our main geometry. So there are different sections on this profile. You can check them by looking at the history tree. Now it's I need to a little bit expand it in order to see it. So there are different sections, three different sections here. One is the armature, as you can see, it's highlighted here. One is the coil here, as you can see, it's highlighted here. And the other one is frame. And this region is the region that I told you, which is for uh, solving the, which is needed for solving the equation. If you zoom in, you will see a little bit gap here, which is between the armature and the frame and as, as well as the uh, coil. You'll see the same thing here as I'm rotating. So as you can see, this is a small section of the armature. As I told you, we did this to, in, in order to save simulation time. As you can see from this uh, view, it's only 30 degree, which is one twelfth of the whole geometry. We can have the whole geometry, but since this is repetitive, it's much better to use this one, solve it in a much faster time. So what we need to do is we need to add excitation. For that, we use this uh, part of the geometry, which is the coil. We go add excitation. You can use add excitation from here. And then <clears throat> after that, we, uh, we need to make a winding. Again, uh, we, we use we add the winding on this section and then put the excitation together at the same winding. Next, we need to add material. As you can see, it, it's not assigned here. So uh, I'll do those and come back to you after adding excitation. The excitation are added to the winding. As you can see, this is one of the excitation. Pay attention to this arrow. This is the other part of the excitation. So one is assigned to this side of the coil and the other one is assigned to the other side of the coil. So once you do that, you need to put these two in a winding, which is assigned call to terminal. And also if you add a parameter, which is forced, that one is uh, added here too. So uh, next is to assign material to your uh, geometry. 